Hey everybody, today I am going to be uh, installing the X Lifter control module permanently into the center console of my LR4. So I've already installed the X Lifter itself. I got this about a month ago or so. There's a ton of videos that show you how to do this. And so instead of showing you this, I'm just gonna link to the video that I watched that shows you how to install this on uh, a Land Rover. But what I haven't found is how to install this permanently. So on the X Lifter website, you can go in and you can 3D print these little cases. And then the cases allow you to uh, really nicely place your X lifter control module in the center console or up by your vent or down here, wherever you want. And so I've chosen to put it right next to my uh, mode selector dial. So what you need to do is you have to go in, cut the uh, cable for the control module. So right now it's plugged into the cigarette lighter adapter. And so I'm going to permanently wire this in to the power cable for the cigarette lighter adapter. So this turns on and off with my ignition switch, um, but there's not gonna be this cable here. So I haven't seen any videos on how to do that. It's pretty simple. And so I'm gonna show you how to rip out the center console and then wire this correctly so the polarity is right and you're not uh, putting anything in danger. And also I'm gonna do this in a way that I can remove this because I'm not sold on this 3D print. And so I wanna be able to change this out with different 3D prints or different, maybe do this in wood or paint it or whatever. And so I wanna be able to remove this. So I'm not gonna, I'm gonna make this so I can remove this wire with, well, you'll see. So what we need to do first is we need to remove this center console. Um, and this is a pretty easy thing to do. So um, the first thing you need to do is get your car and make sure it's on a level surface. And then I have put some uh, stops behind my wheel so it doesn't move around. And I have put this in neutral. So this is in neutral. And then I turned off my car. Um, now when you do that, the, the parking brake comes on automatically. So it's sort of a double safety there. The next thing you have to do is you have to get the center console out. And that is something that is not so um, evident on how to do. So the first thing you need to do is take these little cup holder things here get those out of the way. And then this center plastic thing, it pops off. So you have to really get in there and pull this. And then there's some clips on here. That's what hold those in. So you just pull on that and this will pop right out. And then once you have that out, the other thing you need to do, and this is sort of scary, but it works, is take your, uh, your shifter knob here, pull in the shifter, the little shifter uh, select button, push that in and then pull really hard gah, and it will come off. And so I did that previously and it sort of was there. So you have to pull pretty hard on that and it can be a little scary. Now we have uh, this little center console. There's two screws right here, one on the right, one on the left. So just get a Phillips head screwdriver and go in there and get those out. Okay, so now these guys are out and I'll put this in here. So you don't lose that. This little guy, you might want to wash this off. It gets pretty nasty. That comes off. And then now we have our center console here that can come straight out. Okay, you have to sort of really pull on this back side here. It feels like you're gonna rip it out, but you won't. Um, and now you can see why we got rid of that. Uh, that shifter lever here. So it does feel like you're gonna break something but you're not. And then just like that, the whole thing comes out. And now we can get to all the wiring underneath here. And so what we wanna do is we wanna get to this right here. There's clearly a positive and a negative. And so that makes it really easy because this turns on and off with the ignition. We just have to take off this tape here and then splice into these and then put the cable through that. So it's pretty simple. Now I've unwound these. I have two separate uh, cables that these are gonna be really easy to splice into. Wire cutters that we have here, uh, a crimping tool, and then also this is uh, a fancy wire stripper. You can use any wire stripper that you want. I like this guy right here. And then to make sure everything uh, ties in, we're gonna use these guys right here. These are called D-taps, uh, T-taps. And so that will, well, you'll see how they work in a second. These are great, they only cost uh, two or three bucks. 
and then of course we need some electrical tape that is going to make sure everything is secure so those are the tools that you need one of the things we have to make sure we do is to match the polarity the positive to the positive the negative to the negative so on the x lifter remote there is a there are two wires one of them has a red stripe on it and the other one has a black so the red should be positive so you want to absolutely confirm that so you can take the little cigarette lighter adapter open it up and then you can look inside the center is positive and so yeah the red is connected to that this negative this outside is negative and so you can see that yeah red and black are positive and negative and then over here we have brown and red red should be positive and brown should be negative and so we just have to match those two up okay so now um, before we cut this what we need to do is we need to tap in to these and that's where these uh, these T taps come in because they allow you to splice in without cutting these. And so that's what I want to do. I'm going to open this guy up and we have these little guys right here. And so um, all I have to do is take one of these guys. So I'm going to go on to the positive and then I will connect this on there like this and then snap that shut. To take these T taps and get them on the wire they have to be pressed in so the wire has to be pressed into this and so uh, just any pliers will work i really like these channel locks because they can really get in there and smash that in squarely and so that's what i'll use to smash this wire into this t-tap here these this one here is squeezed on once i get that on there i'm just gonna make sure it's tight with my fingers these are a little squirrely once this is on here correctly you can see that that is really snugly on there then this other little end here just pops in. So what we'll do is we'll take the wire from our, our uh, X lifter, we'll get two of these guys, and then they'll just be able to slide on there. So then if I wanna change this in the future, I can just unplug and replug without having to splice in more than once. Both of the T-taps are now on positive and negative, and now it's time to wire in the, um, the X lifter remote. So the scary part has come, where we're gonna take our wire cutters and I'm going to put this on here and cut the wires. Okay. Yeah. The hair cut. And then I can strip these two. Now, I've got those two wires apart. And now I need to strip those really fast. So I'll use my fancy wire strippers here. About like that. Okay. Perfect. Spiral that. Put that on there. These are solderless. And then I'll crimp that on there. It's crimped really good. Perfect. Okay, so that is the positive. I will connect that now to the positive wire. Okay, let's do the other one as well. Just to test before we put everything back together, I've uh, connected the T taps to the positive and negative and the X lifter has come on it's working just fine so we have made sure that everything is working before we do the other side which is drilling a hole in the console and then mounting this up now we're going to take this and take it out of its case and put it in the 3d printed case so it's just got four little screws here And this now comes out, so this comes off, this back part comes off, and the whole thing just comes out of its case. So there it is. And now what we will do is we will put this in the new case. So this guy here now goes into this, and then this comes out the back. Now this goes on here and that those screws will go right back on there all right that is four screws this is all secure now okay now what i need to do is mount this on the other side of the console which is this side right here and so what i'll do is i'll just drill a hole in there and then this is going to sit right in there and then the cable will go through. So let me just drill a small hole. I have to make sure I'm not gonna hit anything on the other side. So I've checked exactly where to drill on this and then I'm gonna drill a pilot hole with a really small bit. So I know exactly I've marked where to drill. And I'll do that right now. All 
All right, so the pilot hole is there. Checking again to make sure it's all good. And it is, then I'll get a larger bit. Okay, now a quarter inch, I'm gonna go up, drill on that pilot hole there. Okay, three eighths. All right, half inch, here we go. Perfect. Okay, feed these guys through. And also, clearly, you could drill a smaller hole if you fed the wire through without uh, the connectors on the end. But I want to be able to change this out in the future with the connectors, so that's why I drilled the big hole. The wire is through. That's going to fit just flush really nice. And that is now where that's going to sit. It's going to look wonderful. Now I'm just connecting these T-taps again. Making sure they are secure. They are. And then what I'll do here is now that everything is in place, I'll make sure that they're snug, not hitting anything, so that everything can go back where it came from. And then let's take this, turn it over, and everything is on. I'll have to put that in neutral. Then we just need to get this panel back in. There we go. Just like that. Voila. Okay. Getting the shifter on is the hardest part. It's in neutral. All right, this is in. I just need to reverse the process, put in these two screws, and everything goes right back together the opposite of the way it came out. It's pretty darn simple. All right, it is done. And so we can look and you can see closely here this little 3D printed thing fits flush with this. Again, I'm not a fan so much of this black print here. I think I might do a wood or paint this or do something. That's why I did the tap so I can take this in and out if I want to. But now we have a totally installed X lifter. You can see that I can control it right from here and it's uh, all secure and it looks much better than having that cable coming into the cigarette lighter. There you go. Installing an X lifter remote. Simple as one, two, three.